Mmm, this is yummy. I want to have a replacement, please. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Live Kindly. Live Kindly is a YouTube channel with roughly 70,000 subscribers and they just uploaded a video called 10 Reasons Not To Go Vegan. Top 10. Yeah, very edgy title coming from a vegan YouTube channel. Let's have a look. Deciding to go vegan can cause you to experience a world of judgment from family, friends, pets, houseplants, yes, plants have feelings, according to some, and occasionally strangers on the interweb. That's what I'm here for. So, what kind of person chooses this life of ridicule? Exactly. Oh, so, so delicious. <laughs> Look at her, man. <laughs> There's obviously nothing better on this planet than a bowl of guacamole, tomatoes, and cucumber. <laughs> but here's a list of the top 10 reasons you should not embrace a plant-based oh. diet. Number oh. one, the food is truly terrible. Everyone knows True. that vegan food is all nuts and berries and grass. Lots and lots of grass. It's definitely not possible to get your hands on vegan pizza, burgers, chicken, <laughs> ice cream, donuts, or anything that isn't grass. Wow, as I can see, you speak sarcasm fluently. Look at this, this just proves my point. You guys don't like vegetables, you guys don't want to eat grass, you guys are not herbivores. This is why you try to replicate meat with plants. That is, unless you live near most any kind of bodega, grocery store, farmer's market, warehouse club, or big box supermarket that stocks these items. Wow, look at this. Already this has been accepted as the new normal by vegans. Let's talk through plastic, let's wear mask. Again, guys, veganism is a huge part of the globalist agenda. That stocks these items. Disgusting. In the US. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Wegmans, and Target are among the supermarkets that offer a range of plant-based options. Plant-based options. Does this look like a plant to you? Why do you crave something that looks bloody? Why do you crave something that looks like meat? And why don't you ask those questions? How did you grow up as a kid? Did you never ask your parents what is going on around you? What is happening to this world? What is this? Can you please explain? Why do you eat this? Range of plant-based options. But if you want to follow a truly vegan lifestyle and only oh, everybody's dancing, camp out in fields of wheat <laughs> where it's possible to get a hold uh. of these things, enjoy that terrible life. Number two, you'll miss the taste of meat. Duh! Unlike meat eaters, vegans cannot season their foods with herbs, spices, condiments, and sauces to add to flavor to the texture. Unless, by some miracle, you have access to the internet or recipe books. Without recipe- This is so retarded. The argument is not if you can add spices, which are plants anyways, but if you can eat the food in its raw state and enjoy it, aka steak tartare aka sashimi, aka carpaccio, aka raw cheese, raw butter, absolutely delicious, doesn't need anything. Recipes, you can't mimic the taste of fried chicken using- Mimic, yes, mimic, you can mimic the taste, you cannot mimic the nutrition. Simple ingredients like seitan or cauliflower. Satan is just gluten. Or create your own version of pulled pork using plant-based ingredients. Such as jackfruit, which has zero protein. Like mushrooms, jackfruit, or even banana blossom. Exactly. Internet access will also allow you to research where to buy some of the best vegan meat products on the market. Yes, internet access will tell you how to be a consumer. Internet access will tell you how to buy of big companies. Internet access could tell you how to open up a homestead, how to buy a couple of chickens and eat delicious eggs every day. Some of the best vegan meat products on the market. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything anymore. Like Beyond Meats, Beyond Sausage, <laughs> Moving Mountains B12 Burger. So ethical. Burger, Guardians, Mandarin Crispy Chicken, or Pulled Oomph. Number three, you will become protein deficient. Yes, you will. Protein deficiency is a genuine fear among the vegan community. This is because of the lack of access vegans have to protein. If you don't visit stores or supermarkets, vegan sources of protein like beans, nuts, seeds, plant-based meat products, tofu, 
chickpeas, lentils. Again, what you have is anti-nutrients or processed gunk. And a wide variety of legumes are hard to come by. If you are an athlete, it is also tricky to be a success in your field without eating meat for protein. All you're showing us is a couple of athletes that will drop out of veganism like the rest. It happens every day. James Cameron's documentary, <laughs> The Game Changers, proves this. Yes, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is enjoying steaks again. Check it out. I'll be back. Number four, you'll miss cheese too much. It's not that you're addicted to cheese, it's just that you can't foresee a life without the gooey, stringy, melty, tasty yellow stuff that's made from cow's milk. Yes, it's delicious and nutritious. Do you like cheese? Well, why, yes, I do. My favorite's Gouda. It's understandable. This is one of the ultimate reasons not to go vegan. Because if you do, you'll have to eat cheeseless pizza forever. That is, unless you pop into Pizza Hut or ZZ or Pizza Express, or order a takeaway from Papa John's, which all offer dairy-free cheese options in the UK. Which is nothing but vegetable oils. Get it in your head. Eating cheeses, especially raw cheeses, super healthy for you. Eating so-called vegan cheeses, super unhealthy. Because it's nothing but pressed canola oil with soy. It's the worst thing you could put in your mouth. In the US, where they absolutely hate trendy pizza, you'll have to go to Z Pizza or Pizza <sighs> Rev or Blaze Pizza or Mod Pizza or Pyology or Fresh Brothers. I'm not in the US. Others, or Medici. And I don't want your fake gunk. Thank you. If you want to eat out or you fancy making your own cheesy dish, you simply can't. <laughs> Unless you buy Kite Hill's vegan ricotta cheese, or you try out Violife's range of dairy-free cheeses, or Dea's, or Miyoko's, or Butte Island. This is amazing, man. Veganism is nothing but consumerism within this capitalistic structure. This is a globalistic agenda. Don't you see this? Meanwhile, you can get some goats. Meanwhile, you can have some cows. You can live environmentally friendly and make your own cheese. But no, that is bigoted. No, that is evil. That is unethical. Go vegan, everyone. Or follow your heart, etc. <laughs> follow your heart. <laughs> Number five, you'll miss eggs too much. Eggs are a staple of many diets and a key part of many meals. Like yes, but ask yourself why it is a staple. Yet again, those vegans just eat for taste. Mmm, this is yummy. I want to have a replacement, please. Eggs are loaded with vitamins. You have vitamin A, vitamin D, K2 in those eggs. Beautifully put together by Mother Nature for you. Cheap, absolutely sustainable. You can have some chickens, as I said. But that sounds too good to be true. Please, vegans, show me what to eat instead. Like a traditional full English breakfast. There's no way you can make a vegan version of an egg. It's ridiculous to even try. Unless maybe you were a top chef like Gaz Oakley, who created a vegan egg for Japanese-inspired Wagamama. I always eat too much and got it all around my face. That is absolutely incredible. Or if you're Gordon Ramsay, who added tofu eggs to the menu at his London restaurant, Bread Street Kitchen. Or even if you were just an... Obviously, he's catering to the idiot consumers. Why wouldn't he? He is capitalizing on you guys. Ordinary non-professional home cook who could pop into their local supermarket and buy tofu to scramble. Yeah, because scrambled tofu tastes exactly the same like runny eggs. Of course. Or who could use the internet to buy follow your heart or just vegan eggs. Exactly, because this is more sustainable. We saw this in a natural vegan's fridge just made from plants. No, made from plastic. This is what this is. How is this more sustainable, man? You need a huge company that creates some gunk that they put into a plastic bottle and you think you're saving the planet. I eat eggs every day. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Number six, you can't easily buy food on the go. It has always been difficult for vegans to grab a sandwich on the go, and in the last few years, there has been no change to this. If you don't count the fact that a number of supermarkets now offer at least one or two vegan-friendly sandwiches, you'd have to ignore the sandwich change mm. popping up everywhere from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C., and never step foot inside a Subway, Mendocino Farms, the sandwich shop, or- Man, who even believes that it's hard to have a vegan sandwich? Sandwiches are already plant-based. You have two huge chunks of bread filled with a couple of plants and a little bit of deli slices. 
Obviously, it's not hard to have a vegan sandwich. This is not what this is about. The question is, are you getting adequate nutrition? Why should you be eating sandwiches on a daily basis? Which which? A chain that's inside shopping malls, airports, and Target. Number seven, you'll become <sighs> B12 deficient. Following a vegan diet is not the only time you will be at risk of a B12 deficiency. A number of experts have said that most people, plant-based or not, are vulnerable to becoming deficient in this Because people are already on a plant-based diet. I know this is hard to wrap your head around because you're watching animal snuff films every single day. You think that we're all eating oh so much bad meat. The reality of things is most people nowadays eat plant-based. They're eating sandwiches, as we just said. Then they're eating pasta, they're eating breads, potatoes, all of those things are plants, sodas, you name it. This is why they are B12 deficient. They're not getting an adequate amount of runny or raw eggs or organs. People don't eat healthy. This is why they are deficient. Wow. Vitamin. Getting it on a vegan diet is particularly hard. <sighs> Yeah, everything that you see here has no B12. Unless you buy yourself one of those mini B12 vitamin spray. Wow, so easy. Is or tablets on the market from supermarkets or health. Don't be a bigot. Don't be evil. Stop with your toxic masculinity and swallow the vegan pill. Mm. Market from supermarkets or health food stores. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. You could also try eating particularly uncommon vegan foods like Marmite, mushrooms, cereal. Mushrooms do not have B12. Or drinking fortified plant-based milk. Fortified is just another term for supplemented. All you're doing is drinking a supplement beverage. This is not food. Number eight, you can't eat out easily. Eating out as a vegan is harder than it has ever been. Restaurants and fast food chains are just not open to the idea of offering more vegan options. Except for White Castle, which offers the impossible slider, and Burger King, which offers the impossible Whopper. They're Great, let's support those companies. But as long as they don't have a vegan option, we will stand in front of their doors and demonstrate animal cruelty. However, once they bring in one plant-based patty, you will run inside. You can't wait to put that gunk into your mouth. Look at this, pathetic. There's also KFC, which launched its vegan imposter <laughs> burger across the UK in January 2020, uh. has trialed Beyond Fried Chicken in various US locations, and after a successful test run, the vegan Disgusting. chicken sandwich from Light Life Foods is now part of the permanent menu in Canada. So, not much choice, really. Yeah, look at that guy. He looks healthy. Number nine, you'll always be hungry. Oh, I can't wait to see how they're going to refute this one. <laughs> As has been highlighted throughout this list, there just isn't much for vegans to eat aside from grass. Unless you have access to nearby supermarkets, restaurants, delivery chains, or an abundance of simple plant-based recipes, you're going to go hungry. It's just a harsh truth of the plant-based way of life. Number 10. Oh, really? That was it? Guys, it is a common fact that vegans can never get enough food in. They're constantly starving. Nobody argues that you cannot get enough vegan food. Of course you can. As you said, supermarkets, restaurants, all is full with that crap. However, you cannot trick your biology. Your body will still have micronutrient cravings that you cannot get on a vegan diet. Hence, you will always be starving. Wow, just check out vegan YouTube. Too expensive. Going vegan can really break the bank, especially <sighs> with all that extra lettuce you have to buy. Putting all jokes aside, because in case you didn't <laughs> notice, this has all been one big wind-up. It's not easy oh, for really? everyone to switch wow. instantly to buying plant-based foods over their normal shop. However, beans, grains, and vegetables can be some of the cheapest items to- Can be some of the cheapest items. However, we know that no vegan ever follows a whole food plant-based diet. Nobody is eating only legumes and grains. And even this video advertised against it. You said that you're not eating only grass, nuts, and seeds. You're eating what exactly? 
meat replacements. Those replacements cost 10 times as much. Of course, veganism is more expensive. Buy in the supermarket. There are also yeah. a number of blogs and recipe books out there dedicated to helping people cook plant-based on a budget. If you're yet to be convinced. <laughs> oh, yet, you still need conviction, come on. A US study from 2015 <laughs> cites that an individual can save $750 a year by eating a plant- By starving themselves, yes. ...based diet. So maybe it's worth a try. Even hey. making small changes at first can make a difference. Like swapping mints for beans just one day a week. Or your normal beef burger for a veggie option. So what do you think? A vegan diet sounds like the worst, right? Yes. Or maybe you've been convinced to give it a go. No. Let us know in the comments below. I will. All right, guys. And this is it. Enough for today's video. I actually found this one truly amusing because you can look into the psyche of the malnourished vegan mind. It's absolutely ridiculous. It is nothing but a meat craving compilation. Vegans love meat more than meat lovers. All right, but this is it for today. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.